you have nowhere to go. Um, you don't know where you're going to um, end up. So what tends to happen is you keep on walking, you keep on moving, and then you decide to maybe find us a place where you can sit down and you choose a place um, based on the fair, because now you're in fair. And that's what's going on in your mind. Uh, um, it's lonely, you're, you're alone. Women are some of the most at risk and vulnerable amongst people who experience rough sleeping. Violence and abuse are near universal experiences for women who sleep rough. Because of this constant threat of violence and abuse, women are much more likely than men to hide themselves away when they're rough sleeping, so choosing really concealed locations and often walking the streets all night and then trying to find safe spaces to sleep during the day. And that's really problematic in two ways. So firstly, it means that they're much less likely to be found by the outreach services that try and find people who are experiencing rough sleeping. And secondly, it means that women are highly likely to be overlooked when it comes to the rough sleeping snapshot count. In turn, that leads them to be underrepresented in the data that we hold on rough sleeping. And that obviously means that there are far less women specialist services when it comes to rough sleeping provision. The Women's Rough Sleeping Census is a new way to gather data on rough sleeping which is inclusive of how women experience rough sleeping, to really try and understand how, when and where women are experiencing rough sleeping. Last year was the first ever Women's Rough Sleeping Census, which took place in London. We spoke to 154 women who told us about their experiences of rough sleeping, and researchers gathered this information into a report, and they found that women's experiences of rough sleeping are often hidden, transient, and intermittent. They also found that the current way we define rough sleeping doesn't incorporate the experiences of women. So that's why we want to make the census this year even better. We want to reach more women and hear about more of their experiences of rough sleeping. And we want, as far as possible, to connect women in with local services if that's what they want to do. The census is important because women are falling through the cracks. There are invisible homelessness. Um, and we want to highlight these circumstances and bring them to light. The census couldn't happen without all the incredible practitioners and volunteers who take part and we need as many different types of services to get involved as possible. If you or your team even sometimes work with women who are experiencing rough sleeping, we'd love for you to get involved. The census in 2023 is happening from the 25th of September to the 1st of October. Practitioners can get involved by completing a short census survey with women they see during that week. And if you normally deliver outreach as part of your team, you can use our guidance to plan and deliver gender-informed census outreach shifts, which can help us reach more women. You can also join your borough's census data meeting so that we can get a better picture of what's happening in your local area. To get more information, visit the census website where we've got recorded training sessions and detailed guidance which can tell you everything you need to know about how you can take part. If you have any questions, get in touch and let us know that you're taking part. We'd really love to hear from you.